Hey, what is up heroes and welcome to a brand new Pokemon ROM hack. Today we are playing Pokemon Adventures Red Chapter. Played this on the channel a while ago, but my game kept crashing at a certain point. I couldn't progress any further and since then the game has been updated a bunch and you guys have been telling me to replay this game again because it is now incredible and is actually finished. Well, finished to a certain point. So uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing this and can't wait to see what extra stuff's been added. I know like some custom Mega, Mega Evolution's been added, which sounds so sweet. Like when I played the game, I remember I had a Mega Polygraph, at, so, uh, I think past the, I guess the post game bit, but it's a long way away. Let's just jump right into this game because I am so excited to play this again. Because this was actually a really decent ROM hack when I first played it, but hi there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I'm the champion of Kanto. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for breeding. As for myself, I'm a Pokemon trainer. Huh? My name? I forgot to introduce myself. I am... We are red. Gotta go with red because, obviously, that is the character name. My name is red. Yes. My journey wasn't smooth. I had a rival. His name is... I think in the manga, it's blue in English and green in Japanese, but obviously we're playing in English, so we were blue. That was a blue? Yes. That's right. I remember now. His name was Blue. I've made many friends, acquaintances, and enemies throughout my journey. This is the first chapter of my story. Alrighty. Well, first things first, we're going to go... Ooh. Text box seems pretty cool. Fast and frame. Let's go... Because it's red, obviously red chapters go with nice red frame. Alright. So what are we doing first? Yo. Oops, I've dropped my balls. <laughs> oh no. Don't drop your balls. I can't do it. I give up. You have to weaken the Pokemon before you attempt to catch it, you know? Can you help me? <laughs> no problem. Go on out, Poliwhirl. Oh yeah. Does Poliwhirl have a nickname? Uh, What should we nickname our Poliwhirl? I'm going to name you what I named you on my previous playthrough years and years ago. Meta Knight. Almost there. And done. Just fits, Meta Knight. Alright, here we go. Let's go nittering up the... Yeah, the sprites now look really nice. Uh, oh, Ice Beam and Bubble Hypnosis. Uh, let's go for Ice Beam. If we can freeze it, that'd be sweet. Go, Pokeball. There you go. Thank you, uh, Red. Let me hear your Pokemon. Thank you. Appreciates it. Okay, now what? So you got your Nidorino. I want to be a star of a movie, but my manager said I look way too generic. Do I look generic to you? Yes. <laughs> You're a horrible person. Oh, my bad. I had a friend who fell into a deep coma. He's currently in Valencia Island Hospital. Oh, that ain't good. <laughs> Drop my balls. Thank you, Red. Nidorino and I are getting along so well. Sweet. So where am I going? Oh, it's too early to go home. Gonna run in shoes just yet, so listen, we're going through the grass. Oh, Team Rocket. Yo, what up? Watch it, you little maggot. Sorry. Looking for the phantom Pokemon. Get lost. Wow. That guy was uh, carrying a Pokeball. Must be a trainer. Quick, make eye contact and we can battle him. Yo, wanna battle? Get lost, kid. We secure this area. Ooh, who is that little, uh, little cutie? Hi. What's that? Is that the phantom Pokemon? No, no, wait! Get back here. Where'd he go? Ooh, what's this? Got a miracle seed. Don't have a grass type, but once we find one, definitely pop that on it. Hmm, there's no sign of the phantom Pokemon here. Hey, you're not one of us. You might want to battle me, but okay. That's fine. Kind of potion. Sweet. Oh, I see some of a Charmander. And last patch of grass we see here, uh, a caterpie. 
Oh, is that the phantom Pokemon? Shh, someone beat me to it. Come back, Charmander. Do you know what you're doing? You always had it. Whatever, my turn. Gotta try and nab that Mew. Level one Mew, oh, we got this. Ice Beam. I have a nice bubble. Aha! Ah! Can you tell from the battle I just had? I knew it was way more superior than me. That's why I called back Charmander. I I lost? Always know your limitations. If you don't, you're only beating yourself. See ya. I always expect him to say like smell you later, but you need to see Professor Oak. Have to get stronger. Yes, we do. Alright, so the lab should be down here. The game looks beautiful though. Ooh. Like, I, obviously I played this three years ago and I can't remember too much stuff, but I don't know the game didn't look this good. Or it's just, you know, the new settings I got on my emulator, but still, ooh. These Pokemon, where's Professor Oak at? Cool, there's a Bulbasaur. Should I hold it? Yes. What are you doing? You're a thief, aren't you? Oh. You spooked him. Arr, I'm sorry. I'll go look for him. And then we'll go find the Pokemon, wherever they are. So it was a Jigglypuff, Cubone, Bulbasaur, and Spearow, right? I think you actually say something. I think you were related to Blue, or, oh, sorry, Green. This area used to be a house belonging to a happy family. One day, their daughter went missing. That poor little girl, she was kidnapped by that Pokemon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure um, this is where Green's house was. Which we actually have played Green Chapter on the uh, channel a long while ago. If that's been updated, we might replay it. Oh, there's a Sparrow. Gotcha, found you! Oh, ho, looks like it's very angry. Well, luckily, we have a nice little move that's super effective against it. Ice Beam. Awesome. So that's one down, three more to go. Yo, love bird type Pokemon. Bird type doesn't exist. Oh my god, I'm talking to a noob. <laughs> oh, yes, you are. Oh, there's Jigglypuff. Not sure where Cubone is, maybe in one of the houses, but. Jiggly Jig. What's up, Jigglypuff? Take the ice beam. And. Oh, you're the berry. Nice and easy. Okay, time to catch it. Oh. No, wait! That's gone. Got away. Right, Cubone and Bulbasaur. I assume they're in the uh, the next town then. Oh, need to look for Cubone. Cubone must be uh, around here then. I remember where Bulbasaur is, but Cubone... Not so much, but now I'm starting to remember. I think he's by Mew. Well, where Mew was. In this area. I really wish I had the running shoes right now. Make life so much easier. Oh. Just saw a Cubone and a Bulbasaur ran by. Where'd it go? And there's green. So Cubone and Bulbasaur came by here. Better find it quick. Yes, we should. Cubone, where you at? Oh, I think I can see it. Hey, little fella. There you are. Can always uh, carry it, but I'd rather knock it out. He's going to knock this Cubone out. Now where's Bulbasaur? Tch, someone beat me to it. <laughs> Did see a Squirtle in the lab. Do you know what be a really cool idea? If like, Red Chapter, Green Chapter, Yellow Chapter, I think Yellow Chapter actually takes place after Red Chapter, but Red, Blue and uh, Green Chapters are all finished. Playing them like, kind of, where they take place in the timeline. Like, each episode will be red, blue, or green. So, obviously, I think we'll start with green chapter, and then we'd go to blue, then red. But next, I think we're going to head to the next town, because I think Bulbasaur is actually just chilling in um, the gym. I cannot wait to get the running shoes, man. It's just like, you just realise how slow you actually go, but I have to find Bulbasaur, okay? Bulbasaur's not there, so... Where's Bulbasaur right then? So Bulbasaur weren't where I thought he was, so... That's moving. 
Ooh. Something's inside. It's Bulbasaur. Boba. If only we have balls to catch this. But maybe later on. Oh Level 9. Nice. Alright. Huh? Let's run off. Ah, I run away. So Bulbasaur and Jigglypuff have run off. We have Spiro and Cubo. I mean, two out of four ain't bad. It wasn't entirely our fault that uh, they ran away. So, I think either we have to head north or we'll go see Professor Oak. But we'll go see Professor Oak first, just in case. Yo. Bit of fun, my Pokemon. Alright, I'll try. So we know Jigglypuff ran north. So let's see if we can go north now. Yes, we can. Route 1. Alrighty. Oh. Level 2 Pidgey. No, thank you. What up? I'm an anime nerd. I can speak Japanese Desuka. Give you your Pokemon some potion. Desuka. Speak normally. You racist douche. Okay. <laughs> Always gonna give me a free potion. That is not a free potion. That's Bulbasaur. Oh, it's not moving. I can't get that out of Surf either. So I feel like this game's changed a little bit since I last played it. Yeah, let's just run away. Hey, I work at the Viridian City Market. Just here gathering herbs. Oh man. Don't want to give me a free uh, potion though, do you? Let's quickly grab this before we go up there. Got a potion. Nice. Not bad. When are we get the running shoes? Oh, Professor Oak, hey. Trying to get away, are we? Uh, how did you get here so fast? <laughs> I have the running shoes on. Okay. Well, I found Spiro and Cubone. Okay. Y you're not off the hook yet. There's still Jigglypuff and... Yes, yes, I'll find them. I won't stop looking until I find them all. Okay. Here, take these running shoes. That way, if they run, you can chase after them. I've got the running shoes, hey. Okay, now go look for them. You're not going to follow me? Just go look for them. Alrighty then. Ooh, what's up? Sorry, kid. I'm on a very important duty. Go play hide and seek with your little friends. I ain't got no friends. Alright, Jigglypuff and Bulbasaur, where are you hiding at? Oh, wow, this town looks so different. Like, I remember just looking exactly like Viridian City, pretty much, but... Oh man, so glad you guys told me to play this again. Do you want to go somewhere? Oh, teleport guy. Okay. Appreciate it, but not yet, thanks. I'm new to Viridian City. I don't know anyone. I'm a trainer. Waiting for the Viridian City Jimmy to return. Ooh, awkward. What have we got down here? Route 22. And we can't go up that way yet. But what about this way? Hey, oh, there's Jigglypuff. So we're good. Oh, how do we get Jigglypuff, though? It's just chilling there. Damn it, Jigglypuff. Can't get it. Oh, free manky. I need some balls, man. Some balls bad. Can't you see what I'm doing? Looking for my sunglasses. I've dropped them here earlier. That's nice. These it? Kind of potion. Ooh, what up? Uh, say what you want to say. Not gonna move until the Indigo League starts. Damn it. <laughs> she moved. We can just take on the league now. My level 9 uh, Polywell. That should go down well, right? We need Rock Smash to get Jigglypuff, so... Not entirely sure where we're gonna... Well, when we're able to get Jigglypuff. What else we got? Okay, that leads to the Pokemon Center, doesn't it? So let's go this way. Oh, Didn't check out the house, did we? My sister thinks that Pokemon can fuse together. My sister is very mean. I am living with her, but she is just way too toxic. Well, Pokemon can fuse together. Hello, class. Today's lesson is the uh, validity of Professor Oak. So Professor Oak spent his whole life as a trainer, yet he only has three level 5 Pokemon. <laughs> Not the best trainer, is he? Alright, let's go across the bridge. Oh, there's Jigglypuff. It flew away again. Not so far, Jigglypuff. Okay, not that way. Can we find it around here? That leads out of the town. Let's go in uh, the gym. Make my Bulbasaur. Professor Oak. I'll take it from here. Come here, little Bulbasaur. Oh. Now, really? 
I'm your owner. Don't be scared, Bulbasaur. You're nervous, aren't you? After all, it's your first time in the outside world. Good boy. Wild Machoke? We have to defeat it. Here it comes. What's a wild Machoke just like entering a gym for? Okay, let's just go for a nice uh, bubble. It's level 8. Oh, it's kind of scary. Hypnosis. Nice. Wait, do we have... We have Bulbasaur on our team as well. Nice. I'm going to go into Bulbasaur now. XP for him would be pretty good. Okay, let's get back into Poliwhirl. Hypnosis. At least Bulbasaur will get the XP now, so it's all good. And one more. Level 10, and Bulbasaur is going to get level 6. Level 7. Leech Seed. Not bad. It's not down yet. It's still well and kicking. Hmm. Sunlight. Bulbasaur. Use Solar Beam. Here it comes. How did Bulbasaur know Solar Beam? Don't know, but does it actually have Solar Beam on it? Person now, right? It, oh, we do. Solar Beam. Took Sunlight. Another Solar Beam. Grout's fine. Just gonna tackle. <laughs> Hey, level 8. Oh, it's level 9. We did it. Yes, we did. That was incredible. Bulbasaur has really taken a liking to you. You can keep it. Really? Thanks, Professor Oak. What do you say, Bulbasaur? Do you want to travel with me? Hey. And we're going to nickname it. I want to always nickname my Bulbasaurs. There we go. Boy, do you know what it takes to be a great Pokemon trainer in the uh, the first place? Huh? Don't need power or speed. All you need is the connection between you and your Pokemon. The connection between my Pokemon and me? What's your name, boy? Red. Hey, Red. Take this Pokedex. This, the Pokedex is an encyclopedia of Pokemon. Whenever you see a Pokemon, its data is instantly recorded in here. By the time you complete this Pokedex, you might become the champion of Kanto. Good luck, Red. I think by the time I complete the Pokedex, I'll be the champion of every region, because I never finish my Pokedex. I'll probably die before I complete the Pokedex, to be fair. Alright, so, the only thing left to do is get Jigglypuff, but I feel like Professor Oak kind of just doesn't care about Jigglypuff anymore. We'll go see uh, Jigglypuff on the, uh, the cliff around here, see if anything happens now that we've actually triggered the event to see Jigglypuff run this way. And we got the Bulbasaur. Not guaranteeing anything that's going to happen, but... Yeah, we can't get Jigglypuff unless we have Rock Smash. But when we get Rock Smash, we'll come back here. We'll try and remember anyway. There's a little event, see what happens. But with that, I'm going to be ending this part right here. Hopefully you guys enjoy this series. If you do, make sure you leave a like. And uh, yeah, tell me I'll leave a, your answer to the question of the day as well. That would be always appreciative. And I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.